Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is my iOS 5 update. I'm going to be talking about the iOS 5 jailbreak, the beta firmwares, as well as the general information surrounding the iOS 5 announcement. Also, I'll show you guys a little bit of iOS 5 running on my iPod Touch 4th gen. Less than 24 hours after the release of iOS 5 beta 1 to developers, Muscle Nerd has already jailbroke it and posted pictures online to prove it. If you'd like to see them, click on the link down below in the description. Now, now the jailbreak is tethered, but the good news is that when iOS 5 rolls around this fall, we're guaranteed to have a jailbreak. Although tethered, it's only a matter of time until the dev team or muscle nerd figures out an untethered solution. Now about the iOS 5 beta firmware, beta 1 was released to developers on June 6th. Obviously if you're not a developer you can still get it and I'll go over that in the future, but I do have it running on my iPod Touch 4th gen and my 3GS. It is stable so far. I have noticed several bugs, but overall it's very stable and I do love all of the new features in iOS 5. If you guys are looking to update to iOS 5 Beta 1, I really wouldn't recommend it because you do have to pay for a spot on a developer's account in order to register your device and activate it once you restore to iOS 5 Beta 1. Yes, there is a way to activate iOS 5 Beta 1 without paying, but once Beta 2 rolls around, it'll fix that glitch and you'll be stuck on iOS 5 Beta 1 unless you know how to downgrade back to 4.3.3. So I just recommend staying on your current firmware and waiting for the future updates on the Beta 1 or any beta firmwares. Now for some smaller news, iTunes 10.3 was released not too long ago and it is okay for jailbreakers to update. It will not harm or remove your jailbreak in any way, so go ahead and update to iTunes 10.3 without any worries. Also, over-the-air updates which were introduced in iOS 5 will not interfere with your jailbreak in any way. Muscle Nerd tweeted that over-the-air updates can be disabled once you are jailbroken because a lot of people are panicking that their jailbreak will be removed and that's not true. And lastly, the iPhone 3GS will not be getting all of the features the iPhone 4 will be getting and that's because of the lack of processing power. I'm sure you'll be able to activate these features using a Cydia tweak in the future. And here's just a little bit of iOS 5 Beta 1 running on my iPod Touch 4th gen. As you can see, I have the new stand and the reminders applications. They are brand new. I also have this drop down notification menu. It does look a lot like Android, and obviously, I don't have any notifications, but there is weather, stocks. That's really nice, very fluid. I really like it. If we go to the lock screen, double tap, there's a camera application, go straight to it. From here, I could take a picture by pressing volume up button and that's really great. In settings, you'll notice that a lot of things have changed. Things have been added, iCloud, iMessage. Basically, iOS 5 has been fine-tuned to the point that every little thing in iOS 4 has been improved, a lot of things added, and I'm really excited what it will look like when iOS 5 beta testing is done. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped answer a question or two about iOS 5. Please leave me a comment letting me know whether or not you will be updating to iOS 5 Beta 1, why or why not. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so because I will be making many more videos about iOS 5 jailbreaks and unlocks in the future. Also, please rate this video if you liked it and have a great day guys.